So in the last video, we talked about how I think Boruto Scar can happen. And to pretty much sum up what the part one of this video was, basically I said that Code is going to sort of push Boruto to his limits and Boruto is not gonna be able to entirely control his new karma seal form and it kind of looks like he's somewhat in control at the beginning but i think that because this form looks sort of new that boruto isn't going to be able to control it for a full amount of time and i pretty much said that the leaf village is going to intercept the fight and that boruto's jogan may activate or something may activate in his eye to where boruto ends up getting slashed and this leads to a whole new series of events now i think that the moment that Boruto gets a scar that's kind of when the real story starts I think once Boruto gets a scar that's when we start diving into these theories like does Boruto go rogue does Boruto betray the leaf things of that nature so I think the scar symbolizes like just the start of when Boruto gets dark because right now at least in the beginning of the show the show is kind of lighthearted, but we're starting to get towards the point to where the show is about to take a very dark turn so if boruto ends up getting a scar in this fight and this is probably going to change a lot of things i think getting the scar is going to make boruto rethink a lot of things if him getting the scar means that he was endangering people then i believe that boruto would take himself out of the situation and try to isolate himself from everybody else because if boruto's out here hurting people and he's not sure if Momoshiki is going to take over again or or let's say Boruto's in a fight and then Momoshiki takes over. Boruto's not sure of what's going to happen, right? He's even worse than, you know, Kurama and Naruto, you know, back when he was younger, right? At least in Naruto's case, they could kind of like sustain Kurama right there, like sealing Jutsus and whatever. But in Boruto's case, it is completely random. We don't even know when it's going to happen. And for the most part, controlling Boroshiki isn't really an option either. We know how to sort of let Boruto get control of Momoshiki again, which is by Boruto regaining some of his chakra, but I don't think that's sort of a 100% foolproof plan to sort of get Boruto under control when he's controlled by Momoshiki. So I think it's going to take Boruto to find out some way to control this power because right now he just really has no options. And that's why I think that after this fight, Boruto is going to have to take himself out of the equation, take himself somewhere isolated and potentially try to actually learn how to control, you know, Momoshiki for however long that may be because you know at this point in the story Boruto's been taking these pills and the pills are supposed to be stopping the karma progression and I said that they referenced this in the anime and stated that the pills do seem to be working but you know my idea is that maybe these pills are stopping the karma progression but what if Momoshiki's presence is already too deep into Boruto's subconscious like what if him being 80% Osusuke you know despite having the pills is still a problem because he already has most of Momoshiki DNA in him and just because you stop the karma progression doesn't mean that you reverse the effects. I think what we really need to do to fix Boruto would be to reverse the effects but you know fixing DNA is one of those like tricky things. It would take a lot of research to kind of like figure out how to get his karma progression to revert but I think the main thing is that he's 80% Osusuke in that even though these pills might be working and stopping the current progression, and maybe he might not be taking over in the future, I think it's the fact that he still can't control Momoshiki and that even with these pills, Momoshiki still faces a big threat. So just because we have these pills now doesn't mean that we can sort of relax and be easy. We still have to be sort of cautious about Boruto and making sure that he doesn't just randomly change to Momoshiki again. So I think that's another reason to why Boruto didn't want to go rogue. These pills are working, but at the same time, they're not stopping what has already been done and they can't really reverse the damage that was done in the first place. And I want to go back to my idea of how Boruto gets the scar. So I said that there may possibly be some sort of Del Jutsu that awakens in his eye, you know, most likely being the Jogan being awakened. And the thing with scars, right, is that you don't just slash somebody's eye for fun. That's not something that randomly gets slashed. It's something that usually signifies that you're trying to like stop something or something's going out of control. And I wonder if this is true and let's say that Boruto does awaken the Jogan for the first time in the manga. I wonder if we will finally get to see more of its power and maybe Boruto might not actually be able to handle that power right away. Now in the anime, he hasn't really done too much with it. I think he's only used it in a couple of fights. I still think that the eye hasn't been fully developed, at least in the anime. We've only gotten a little bit of things. I think that whenever we get the Jogan to appear in the manga, we're finally gonna be able to get like more perspective of why this eye is so feared because from what they've been telling us, 
And what we know about the Joe gun, right? He can see like portals, he can see chakra points and some other things too. This eye isn't really scary, right? Because it's like, okay, cool. You can see portals, you can see chakra points. Like, okay, like whatever. But I feel like there's just some underlying things that this eye can do, which is gonna make him a lot scarier. And it's going to make him an even bigger threat to be around. Because, you know, at this point in the story, you know, with Osuski saying that this is you know, such a strong eye, it has to do more than what we know of. And I think that once the manga sort of develops that eye, then we'll get a better picture of, oh, okay, this is why Boruto's regarded as, you know, potentially being dangerous. And this is why he potentially went rogue. Now, him going rogue is completely a theory. It's not really stated what's happening. But, you know, if we look at the first episode of Boruto, you know, people have noticed that, hey, his clothes look a little bit more raggedy. Kawaki looks a little bit more put together. Kawaki looks like he woke up out of bed, got a good night's sleep, you know, threw on his nice fit and was just waiting for Borussia, right? But Borussia looks a little bit damaged. looks a little bit like he was fighting for a good bit or he just doesn't have like a stable environment. So that's kind of where this whole rogue theory comes from. It's just that the two look very different, right? And I think that once Borussia goes rogue, we're going to finally see, you know, him starting to acquire more things. We know that Boruto is capable of using the sword because of chapter one or you know Boruto episode one so whenever he goes rogue I guess someone's going to teach him how to use the sword and whatever most likely going to be Sasuke I can't really think of anybody else you know actually one person that could teach Boruto how to use the sword is Orochimaru but I don't think Orochimaru has been really included into the story and they're kind of just sidelining him for right now. But, you know, Orochimaru was actually the person who taught Sasuke how to use the sword. Now, if you take a look at it, you know, Orochimaru has used the sword, I think, a little bit in Boruto. And I don't know if they exactly expanded on this, but, hey, Orochimaru could be a, another potential contender for who actually helps Boruto if he goes rogue and he wants to pick up on some um, sword training. So, it's also another possibility. And, you know, lastly, him going rogue would just better help him to understand how the karma works and to just be in an environment to where he's not endangering other people's lives. I think right now, Kawaki has helped Boruto to the max extent to what he can really help him with. You know, there's people like Ko that know a lot more about the karma and how it works. And even like Amato, who's possibly just withholding information from us, Boruto does not understand the full extent of his karma. I think he needs somebody to sort of help him and instruct him. And potentially if he gets taken to Ada instead of Kawaki, then maybe Ko could have some sort of involvement in that. But that's sort of tricky and very unlikely. And I don't know how that sort of situation will work out, but I think somebody needs to teach Boruto how to better use his karma. And it's really like a couple people that can do it. So I am really interested to see how he figures that out. But yeah, that's kind of my theory for how Boruto can go rogue after he gets a scar. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and join the Discord. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Safe.